Did you know that spicy foods can cause deafness? That's just a straight up fact. Capsicum, which creates heat in peppers, can irritate mucous membranes found in the back of the throat. Now that connects to the ears through eustachian tubes. And if these tubes get blocked, they can cause hearing loss. Temporary, but trust me, not fun. Alright, that's cool, but I, I kind of need you to pay for your food. Excuse me? I'd appreciate some polite customer service, seeing as I chose your restaurant to celebrate Father's Day with my dad. Father's Day was, I think, a month ago. Father's Days! Multiple days! I'm making up for lost time by spending a whole week bonding with my pop. Today, Mighty Wings, tomorrow, the beach. Chill out, it's fine. It's not fine, it's ignorant. Why the rush? I'm the only customer here. What is this place, haunted or something? A while ago, I had this guy on the spot during his interview. On his first shift on the first day, he stole money from my register. He also killed like five people, but that's why he stole money from my register. So I had to fire him that day. But afterwards, after I fired him, he opened up a pepper farm with his husband, the Habanero Ranch. His product that he grows and delivers is so spicy, he's putting me out of business. Tiger Chong. This may not be my place to say, but I'm a retired private detective. Your former employee's behavior is unacceptable, so much so that I'm coming out of retirement to investigate this habanero fellow and save Mighty Wings. I, I feel like you're just saying that so, so you don't have to pay for your food. I'll see you at home, Dad. Is your stomach feeling better? Yeah, it's, it's feeling a little better. Um, I, I think, think the ankle strap is customer at work. It's like, bro, I'm Mr. Habanero. I know how many Scofields are in my peppers. And I'm Mr. Habanero too, because we're gay married. I love you, Carolina Reaper. I love you, Mr. Husbandero. Move. I'm gonna get out and kick this guy's ass! Hey look, we'll just go around him, it'll be fine. It's not fine, it's ignorance! You see how he's dressed? He's clearly homeless, he means us no harm. See? I told you, I'm getting out! Hey man, what's your problem? Get out the road! You first! Fuck with this? Do you know who we are? You look a little bit like my old friend Brimpo. I'm the Carolina Reaper. This is my husband, Mr. Hugh Habanero, and we run the Habanero Ranch. We're the Spice Boys. We're the kings of heat in this town. Well, Carolina Reaper and Mr. Habanero, I'm a bit of a heat seeker. Time for me to honk a horn, an ear horn.
You'll be okay. You'll be okay. No, I'm not. This is wasting your tummy ache, you. You can't die. You won't die. You're all I have. You have the ranch. I want you. It's okay. The spice must flow. Because Eof is dead? Who was a baby? That guy was a total jerk. All he did was rail about ear effects and he didn't even pay for his food. I need a name. It's on the receipt, man. Well, then I need the Django Sands location now. I don't know that. Remember how when I worked here, you said there's no breaks in Mighty Wings? Well, there is. <laughs> Sixty, was it? It was fifty-five. Take sixty. Yo! I don't know where he is, but I know where he's going to be. You don't even have to swim to get swimmer's ear. Any form of water that gets trapped in your ear canal can cause bacteria to multiply. That's just a straight up fact, huh? Exactly! You're finally understanding my passion! You know, that's a big part of Father's Days. Look at us. Two sands on the sand. Yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna go for a dip. You wanna join me? I'm gonna sit this one out. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Wait. I'm forgetting something. What was I forgetting? Here we go. Oh, that's right, a little kiss. <laughs>
and we're closed. I need you to tell me everything you know about Jewel Habanero. And I'm all ears. I just know you have his resume. Tell me, Tiger! Fine, fine. The D in Django is not silent, so why is the T? This is everything I need to know. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it's going to be soon, very soon. After I give my daddy a proper burial. Now, for the trouble you've been, you're getting a dry willy. A what? I've heard of a Viking funeral, but a Viking funeral? What are you doing here? I'm here to pay my respects. Are you proud of yourself, buddy? Yeah, you know what, I did some reading up on you, and I heard that when you were a food critic, one of your reviews made a guy kill himself. I wonder, before that man's son killed you, did you taunt the family at his funeral as well? How about I throw you a funeral? Hungry? Why don't you go to Mighty Wings? Oh wait, I forgot you only go there to massacre people and steal money. You hypocrite. You literally walked out without paying for your meal. The Chong family works hard on those recipes. They are worth paying for. It's literally a crime not to. What is this, a chicken chat? If you can't take the heat, get out of my face. <sighs> oh, I can take the heat. I can take the heat down. Don't try and twist this around and play victim, you spicy piece of shit. You murdered my dad. There's a difference between murder and revenge. You're making excuses. You're making me mad. I'm not afraid of you. Oh yeah, tough guy? You may be big and strong, but I'm fast and bisexual. Oh, I've dealt with scarier. Uh, Bigfoot, uh, the Bunny Man, Dracula, Slender Man, a uh, Pred Alien, a Ghost, uh, the Boogeyman, a Goblin, a Robot, a Mummy, a Wolf Man, a Moth Man, a Goat Man, and the Loch Ness Monster. Killed them all. None of that happened. Yes, it did. Those don't exist. I don't even know what a Predalien is. A Predalien is the offspring of both a Predator and an alien from the movie Alien vs. Predator, Requiem. Right. Well, look, I'm not playing the victim. I am one. Don't, don't act like bad things, things you've done never, never happened. happened. You too.
hot ones, the show where we ask the hottest questions. Joining us today is Chili Klaus, who is currently feeling the full effects of the Carolina Reaper. Taste your own medicine straight from the source. <sighs> it's expired too.
Okay, okay, okay. An ear for an ear. I've done it before, and I can do it again. <laughs> myself and I know I can't just beat you up I know in order to win I have to be like the paranormal activity franchise go to the ghost dimension Yeah. <laughs> 
The only way to defeat a ghost is to become one. He's a phantom. To Django San, private ear. Zach Braff? The, the comedian? Why are you dressed like that? I am a spookster supreme now. Where are we? The ghost dimension. I knew it. Hold up. You two know each other? We do. Your stories are more intertwined than you think. Both being investigators, Django and I share the same social circle. All right, so uh, what room do ghosts not use? Then during one of my performances, he begged me for nudes on Twitter. Needless to say, he completely threw me off and ruined the whole set. Folks! <laughs> ah. And so one day, when a man cursed by Mr. Habanero needed help, I advised him not to seek out the Django, but instead hire me. That choice led to my death and brought me here, where I could see how fate has connected you both. Like how the weapons the Carolina Reaper left behind were used by the Django to save his father's life, or how you two were childhood best friends. Forget about back then. What about right now? Why am I dead? The day you took my life, you immediately made love on my corpse. Immediately. For you and your husband, like Oz the Great and Powerful, Zach Braff was an added pleasure. Your dead gay husband's seed has grown within you, absorbing all your pepper power. It wasn't stomach aches, Huel. It was a preg pain. We you killed each other's, other's baby, baby daddy. daddy. Yes. And like the Carolina Reaper before you, you will become one with the spice. Is there anything you'd like to say before you pass? I'm sorry for what I've done to you. Bashing your head in, murdering you, Bringing you here? Don't be. It was my destiny to be here. It was our destiny to be here. You're right. Every death I've caused was completely justified. Well, hold on. Now that's how you factor. <laughs> Hugh Habanero's daughter, Miss Habanero. Soon, she will become one with the spice as well. Breath, you can't let that happen. Surely there's a way to bring her back, to bring me back. There is. Then do it. Don't let her grow up an orphan. Let me raise her, Breath. There won't be baggage like there was with my father. It'll be a brand new start for me and the girl. I can do it. I know I can. It's not that simple, the Django. I could do it, but it might do me. It's taken me a long time to understand this place and achieve the level of power I have. Please. That would use up all my power. I will be wiped away forever. I don't know what's beyond the ghost dimension, but frankly, I am afraid of finding out. You're a coward, Zach Braff! A selfish coward! You've never been willing to share your gifts and you were like that on Twitter, and you're like that now! Fine! You wanna live again? You wanna raise Mr. Habanero's daughter and wipe me out of existence forever? Fine! Be my guest then, you crybaby!
My name is Django Sand. Your name is Bell, uh, like Bell's palsy, uh, which can cause pain behind the ear. And let's take you to your new home, Bell. Tiger! It's me, Mr. Habanero! No, no, it's not. You caught me! I'm an imposter! It's getting hot in this mask. I'm getting the habanero sweats. Django. Wrong again, my good bitch. Wasn't wrong the first time. The name's Ango. I'm a completely new guy you've never met before. I hate even thinking about ears. Unless it's in the context of my music. I'm a DJ. DJ and go. Look, I've got something that's gonna bring Mighty Ones back to its former glory. Mr. Huel Habanero's daughter. Her name's Belle. There's your new secret ingredients. Her juice. Just a little squeeze will do the food good. It's not weird or wrong to squeeze her for juice. It's actually very normal and very cool. She'll be your habanero hype man. Now go ahead, bite the bitch. I guess I can give it a shot. So, Ango, are you gonna buy any with Well, folks, that's our story. A messy one, to be sure. Lives were lost, both human and spice boy alike. But during this journey, lives were started too. The life of a spice girl and the life of a DJ to name a few. But perhaps more importantly, the second life of Mighty Wings. With Little Miss Habanero's juice acting as a secret ingredient, there's more reason than ever to visit its three Kissimmee locations. That's right, three. There's one on Vine Street, one on Fortune Road, and one on Who are you? What are you doing with that potato in your hand? Nothing! How can you just show up to my house naked with a potato in your hand and tell me you're doing nothing? Get out of here, man.